big day. My hair is crazy. But today is the day we are going to get our hair transplant. Oh, a dick implant. What? <laughs> oh. I bet they do dick implants here too, but not today. So what they're going to do is, from what I understand, is they're going to shave the back of our heads and they're going to pull out individual hair grafts and they're going to replant them in different parts of our scalp. I don't know exactly know where they're going to go, but I think they're going to draw some dots and lines as to where they're going to replant some hair follicles and then it's going to be a long process of recovery which within six months to a year we'll start to see some results how are you feeling perfect we didn't drink any alcohol no coffee no hookah or anything we were for two weeks we were dieting hard so this procedure can just be perfect exactly feeling nervous i think i'm too tired right now to feel anything but I think it's gonna slowly kick in when we get there and uh, they start drawing on us then I think I'm gonna get nervous but as is this, of now I'm okay. Is this the most uh, extreme procedure you've ever done? Yes, yes and my, mine is my uh, penis uh, what do you call it? shortening because it was too big so I had to like shorten it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has jokes this morning. Um, yeah, I'm not very nervous, but I think it's because I've had so many medical procedures voluntarily done to my body. Butt lift, face lift. <laughs> yeah, and, and all of them are very are very painful, and I feel like this one... The abs, shit, the fake. I feel, I feel like this one cannot be more painful than all of the other voluntary... Oh, blah, 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 blah. All, all decent investments, but doesn't work on his personality like, his investments in surgery I know I know I'm addicted In this part, you have a lot of thick hair. Some of them looking like a wig. Probably you will lose some of them, but not too much. Mm -hmm. Miniaturization? Yeah, a little yeah. bit. And calm, similar, yes. Okay. Thailand, yeah. yeah. Thailand. No, 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 no. Your hair, look. You will see it. Also, you, your camera can see. You have double, also, their shaft looking oily and bright, and the connection between hair and skin is tidy. Your, all means your donor side is really healthy. It's good. Look, perfect. side getting thinner but also the side hair is strong and healthy you will lose some of them but not too much don't worry okay <laughs> it's gonna go to that So the conclusion is that I have good donor hair and thin hair all over my head. So that means I have to shave my entire head, which is fine. That's why I bleached it. I was planning on losing it anyways. And that way he can get a good like visual as to where like the thinner parts are on my scalp. Then he also drew me a new hairline. 
which is like this line here. But yeah, I'm gonna be bald for a little while. Before he did that, he numbed me, so I don't feel anything. Kind of feels like he's just poking around. Doesn't hurt. <laughs> you don't have to go so close, but it's okay. okay. And walk around. They are extracting one by one. No pain. no pain. They took the hair out of the back of my head. And a lot of blood. Look. Yeah. It sucks. So the first step was making holes. The second step was extraction. And the third step is implantation. They're going to put the hair into the holes of my head and then I'll be done. All right, I just finished. It's a lot bloodier than I expected, and it's very painful. Everyone lied to me, but I made it. All right, this is the day after our operation. As you can tell, we're still bandaged up. We're heading to the clinic again. <laughs> My buddy Martin, our friend Nikhil, <laughs> our nice driver. And uh, we're gonna go do a follow-up, get this bandage removed, and hopefully go about our day. I don't know what perfect looks like, but he's saying this is perfect. Uh, you can see there is swelling here. That's why we have done so much local anesthesia <coughs> yesterday. To prevent this local anesthesia, we have to put this bandage. Mm. Because a uh, tertiary. Because the local anesthesia coming down and it can be swelling on your face. That's why. Oh, that's the why. Yes. Yeah. And also we applied the antibiotic cream today, during the day. If you move it every hour, one minute, you can take it off easily. Before you sleep, you can take it off or cut it off. Do you see? Yeah. Okay. Before you sleep. So take it off before sleep and then yes. tomorrow I wear it again? Tomorrow you don't need to wear it again. Then oh. you go back to home. If you still have swelling, you can put some ice for the forehead. Okay. Okay. And it looks so cool. <laughs> we want everyone to see Yaman. Uh, yes, but I even put, like, put it like that, just in case maybe we can <laughs> feel. Uh. Hello. Oh my. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Yeah, like the, there's like the McDonald's index, like the Mac index. Speed off! I'm always